So if you haven't already heard, the FICO company, those guys that generate your credit score for you, they've come up with a new model, a new way to calculate your credit score. And this isn't out just yet. It's going to be unveiled in the summer months, um, but we do know what they're going to be looking for. Uh, so we want to make sure that we get ahead of the game because some people could see a 40 or 50 point drop in their score. This means that if you are doing some of those activities that this new credit scoring system is going to be looking at and targeting, if you are doing some of these bad things, then your credit score could suddenly drop this summer. On the flip side, if you are not doing these negative things that they're now going to be looking at, your score could actually increase. So we want to make sure that we actually know what it is that they're going to be looking for so that we can try to mitigate or eliminate all of this negative stuff so that your credit score can be as high as possible. So some things are going to be the same as it always has been. Paying your credit cards off in full every month is going to be good. Making payments on time is going to be good. Keeping your utilization rate low is going to be good. All of that stuff is still going to be the same. And a lot of the negative stuff uh, that was always bad is still going to be bad. So things like maxing out your credit cards, that's, that's a no-no. Also applying for several new credit cards all at once, having several hard inquiries on your credit score. And of course, not making payments or making payments late, that is a huge no-no and that's going to really hurt your credit score. In addition, the, the new FICO 10 scoring system that's coming out this summer it's still going to look at the last seven years of your credit history, just like the old scoring model did as far as things like uh, delinquent accounts, bankruptcies, foreclosures, repossessions, evictions. All of that stuff is still going to look at a seven-year window. What's new, however, is that they are also going to be specifically targeting the last two years of your credit report. And they're kind of going to be looking for overall trends and analysis. Uh, how are your spending habits? So by doing this, they are, at least in theory, trying to get to know you a little bit better as a consumer. What are your spending habits uh, and kind of what is going on in your life? Because under the old model, your credit score was basically just a snapshot of that particular date and time. Uh, when it comes to your overall financial picture. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's take a hypothetical example and let's look at it under the old system and then we'll take a look at it, uh, some possibilities under the new system as well. So in this example, let's assume that you had a $25,000 spending limit on your credit cards and you are maintaining a $5,000 per month balance on these credit cards. Now under the old system, uh, they would look at that and they would say, well, that's about a 25% utilization rate. Uh, so that's relatively decent. Uh, so we should give this guy uh, a fairly decent credit score because he's making payments every month and his utilization rate is relatively low. But under the new credit scoring system, same example, $25,000 spending limit and $5,000 uh, balance on this card, that may be good for you or it may actually hurt you. It just depends on how you got to this point. So maybe you got to this $5,000 credit balance because it was December and it was Christmas and you spent a bunch of money for the holidays or you took your family to Disney for vacation or you know whatever the case may be. It might be just sort of a one of type of event where this is out of the ordinary. Usually you only have you know a couple hundred bucks or maybe a thousand dollars on your credit. Uh, card and then this one particular month it spiked up and then you quickly paid it back down to kind of the normal balance that you have uh, and so that would be very good you know you had a spike in your spending for whatever reason but then you quickly paid it back down so that is not going to hurt your score whatsoever second example same situation but let's just say that a year ago you started with twenty thousand dollars in debt on your twenty five thousand dollar limit credit card. And over the past, you know, handful of months, you've been slowly whittling down that payment and now you only owe $5,000. That's fantastic. It shows that you are being responsible and you had high debt for whatever reason, but your living situation is such that you have extra money every month 
to actually start paying down this debt that you had. Uh, and so that's gonna be really good for your credit score. So yet another example, same setup, but let's just say that a year ago, you only had $1,000 as a balance on your credit card. And you've just been kind of making the minimum payments every month, and you've been adding a couple hundred bucks a month onto your credit card. So what started off as $1,000, you know, a year or two ago, is slowly starting to grow. It started off as 1000 then it became 2000 3000 and now it's at $5,000. So your trend is heading upwards. You are consistently showing that you are spending more money than you are earning. You're heading in the wrong direction. Now, you might still be able to make your minimum payments and all that kind of stuff. You may not be, be late or anything like that. But you are heading down a bad path. And so that is going to hurt your credit score because while you might be treading water and you might be able to, to do the stuff, you know, make your payments like you should, if this trend, if this upward trend keeps up, eventually you're going to get to a breaking point where you are now no longer able to pay your bills. And so because you are consistently being slightly more and more risky uh, as a borrower every month, your credit score will then continue to drop. So because of this, it's very important that not only are you making your payments on time, but you are at minimum keeping your credit balance uh, the same or lower each month. You don't want to be on that upward trajectory. So one last example here, uh, same setup, but let's just say in this case that, you know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, whatever, you had $25,000 on your $25,000 credit card. You maxed this sucker out. That is terrible. You know, and then we see these commercials or these infomercials on TV or radio, you know, consolidate your loans. You know, maybe you used a program like SoFi or something like that uh, to consolidate all of this credit card debt into one lower monthly payment. So now you're not paying the 20, 25% interest on your credit card. Now you're just paying that same $25,000 balance, but at a much lower rate. Uh, I don't know what SoFi gives, let's just say 10%. So you got this 15% spread that you are now actually saving. And these programs can be fantastic. You know, they can lower your monthly payments, but what happens more often than not is people consolidate their, their loans and then they start racking up credit card debt again. So in this example, you know, you refinanced, you got all of your credit card debt into this personal loan. And now once again, your credit card balance is starting to creep up. So now you are back at that $5,000 mark that we talked about in all of our previous examples. Well, under this circumstance, this is going to absolutely destroy your credit rating because the credit card company is going to look and be like, well, this guy had maxed out his credit cards and then he got a personal loan, but his credit cards debt is now going back up. You know, it's one thing if you get that personal loan and refinance and start saving some money and your debt levels start heading back down. But if they start going back up, not only do you now have this $25,000 personal loan, but you've also got this credit card debt that is once again on an upward trend. And so that is going to kill your credit score under this new scoring model, this new FICO 10 model that's gonna be coming out this summer. So if you did have large amounts of credit card debt and you consolidated your debt, uh, make sure that you are being responsible and that you are paying that down quickly and that you are not rebuilding your credit card balance each and every month. And of course, if you are not doing these activities that the new credit scoring model is looking for uh, that will hurt your score, if you are not doing these things, if your spending levels each and every month is at minimum, you know, relatively consistent, or even better, you are slowly paying down your debt levels, then your credit score will actually increase. So if you have been on the wrong side of the equation and your debt has been increasing, it's time to turn that around pretty quickly uh, because like I said, this is going to go into effect later this summer. And then once financial institutions start adopting this new credit model, 
your score could drop significantly. And that's going to affect all aspects of your life. Uh, it could affect your auto loans if you try to buy a new car, uh, mortgage rates, you know, if you're not going to buy a house, if you're just going to rent. Uh, typically, your landlord is going to pull a credit report for you. So that lower credit score could make it uh, difficult to even rent a house. So now that you know what this new FICO 10 scoring model is going to be looking for, you're going to be able to get off this summer on the right foot when this new model gets released. And if you found this video useful, be sure to leave a comment down below. Hit subscribe. I have new videos every week. Thanks.